I really apologize for this one right now. It's, it's unclear at all. Well, that's a hell of a pool day. 85 and sunny, I'll take that. I've been there for a couple hours. I did some defragmenting at home earlier in the day. Got that done. Met Razvan and Sabrina at Life Center. We're going to go into town, get some Jimmy Bob's for dinner. It's a good Sunday. Okay, Joe, for you, Stasis S4. He's hitting the lock, it's a manual. And a nice color. Talk about entertainment, huh? That's what Hudson put on for us tonight. It was La Flavor, a band that always comes to town and plays for the senior citizens at the old gazebo downtown. They tried to do some BGs, it was very awkward, and we left. Uh, it's been a couple hours, it's been actually several hours since then. It's approaching, it is now 2.30 in the morning. Um, I took the 3.30 out, and that didn't really go all that well. It got me where I needed to go and back safely, so that was fine. But it was not happy about running. One, the parking brake was stuck on until I went over some bumps and it let loose after sitting on and tension for a couple of weeks. I guess that's normal, especially sitting outside. Those pads will kind of adhere uh, to the inside of the rotor. Um, that wasn't a big deal, and then I could feel flat spots in the tires. That's normal. Uh, the, the issue was, and I noticed immediately, it didn't really want to idle. It was kind of a rough idle. It was jumping all over the place between about 500 and 1,000. So I drove it for a while, and when I got off the highway, I downshifted maybe 5 to 4, 4 to 3, 3 to 2, and then I clutched in, went to neutral. I'm sitting at the light, and it's really quiet, and the air conditioning wasn't working. I looked down, the tack's on zero, and all the dash lights are on, so it stalled. So I started it up. The last time I did that, it was the fuel pump, and it wouldn't start. It started fine and the RPMs would go down to about 200 and then it would blip itself up to about 1200 and then come down to 500 and then 200 and blip itself up to 1500 and then it would come down and stall so it doesn't want to idle. Uh, the check engine light would come on when it was doing that but then once I'd restart the check engine light would go off. Um, on the way home it was the same deal and the check engine light came on and stayed on so I pulled the codes there were 10 codes and I put them in this beautiful little document here so we can easily see them. And I've posted this in the owner's group, seeing if anybody knows what's going on. Uh, so we've got misfires on all cylinders, one through six. We have O2 sensor control limits, cylinders one through six, and O2 sensor adaptation limits, cylinders one through six. Um, I did both post-cat, I think they're post-cat, I mentioned it over here. I did the post-cat sensors 2,000 miles ago in March of this year. So there's no reason that they would be a problem. Now the pre-cat sensors, I suppose the pre-cat sensors could be bad, but why would that cause it not to idle? I'm thinking it's like an idle control valve or a throttle sensor, a throttle actuator sensor. I'm a lot more familiar with the S62 V8. A problem like that would probably be a throttle sensor. Bobby was thinking a cam sensor, but it runs fine when I have my foot in it. If I keep my foot in it and I keep cruise control on, you keep the throttle manually open to some degree and it's totally fine. Um, so it's something with idle control valve really comes to mind. I know pre-facelift, or maybe it was the non-Vanos 540s, um, had issues with that. And we tried to, on Rosbond's 2000, now Alex's 2000 540, we tried to take the uh, sensor out and clean it, but we couldn't find it. They moved it or got rid of it in some way. Maybe a 2002 M54 has an idle control valve that needs to be cleaned or replaced. Uh, if you guys know anything else, please let me know. All the misfires are probably normal because the engine's not supposed to run at 200 RPM, so it's probably detecting uh, cylinder firings in an order that they shouldn't be, or misfires just due to such low RPMs. Uh, that doesn't really concern me. But the, there's nothing, I mean, there is a, the code CC on table 19 would have been idle control system fault. And there wasn't that fault um, presented. So maybe tomorrow I'll go out and clear it. 
drive it and see if all of this comes back? I would guess that it would. There was nothing that doesn't seem to be related to those problems in there. But if you know anything, let me know. I'm not really worried about it. I can take it into Tom at Larrick, and I'm sure he'll figure it out. I just don't want to pay for it. I'd like to do it myself. So better now than when I need to be driving this car to school. Not a big deal, but uh, we'll figure it out. So I'm going to go to bed. Tomorrow's Monday. We're going to kick off the work week or the pool week, as it's hopefully going to be for me. We're going to do Kenan's uh, oil pan, lower oil pan gasket tomorrow night. We were going to do that tonight. Something came up, so we're going to do it tomorrow. Um, I'll try to get to the pool, and then it's supposed to rain Tuesday through the following Wednesday, so eight straight days of rain. I don't know if that's going to be the case. It looks like the temperatures get hot. When it gets hot, it's the Florida effect. Um, there's chances of, of pop-up thunderstorms every day, so I hope not. That would suck. I'm exhausted. I'm going to go to bed. I'll keep you posted on this car stuff. Leave some comments down below if you have any ideas. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow on Monday. Hope you had a great weekend.